Welcome everyone to this talk, the role of security in a highly automated workplace. My name is Yusuf Khan. I'm the CIO of Automation Anywhere. Um, I've overseen uh, cybersecurity operations at, at multiple companies. And one of the solutions that always comes to mind is Vericode. And I'm very, very lucky uh, that we've got Chris Weisopel, who is the founder of Vericode and also holds the title of CTO and CISO uh, with us today. Hi, Yusuf. Thank you for uh, inviting me to come and speak with you. It's great to be here. As the security industry has grown and companies like yourself have made an impact in customer environments, it's really been about driving a culture change within how security is managed and operated, right? And I think uh, when you think about application security and testing, I think I think there's two things there. One is it's about how you basically build out a culture around being able to ship code, but able to make sure you do it in a secure fashion. And the second part is how do you basically build a much better security operation with perhaps automation at the heart of it so you don't get overwhelmed because that's kind of where the delta and where the debt gets met, right, and gets created. Absolutely. So, you know, this is a good example of that because we're using the same application security testing on the same sorts of applications and languages, same build tools, but the, 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 the process is the thing that's different. The way the development team behaves is, is the difference. And I think that's key to making a secure app is getting that, that good culture and that good behavior. But what is the automation opportunity when it comes to security specifically? I'd love to hear your ideas and I'm sure a lot of our attendees would as well. Yeah, so you know, putting my security hat on, you know, more software means more vulnerabilities, right? Um, and 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 more things to assess and more things to worry about. Um, but on the other hand, automation um, is it can make things more secure because you're taking humans out of the loop. You know, someone that a manual process can get fished. People can send an email to the wrong address. They can attach the wrong thing. They can key in the wrong data. Um, and, and so there's this tension between, you know, deploying more software, am I deploying more vulnerabilities versus, you know, can that software make a process more secure because I, I can have better assurance of those processes. So I, I, I think, you know, when I stand back and I look at it, it's make sure what you're deploying was, was built properly. Make sure that, you know, the design was was secure. The developers were trained in secure coding. There's, there's security testing to make sure vulnerabilities aren't there. If open source is used, make sure the vulnerabilities in the open source are managed. So I think you know, all those things can be managed and, and risk managed so that you can then get the benefits of, of the automation of, of making a process that had some risk in it actually more secure. So as long as you're, you're following and thinking about security as you go through this process of building automation, you can end, end up with not only more, you know, higher productivity and more reliability, but you can end up with more security too. 